What's up guys? Wavy Web Surf's Mike here. You know, recently I've noticed Wavy's been talking a lot about YouTube drama, and this is the worst thing that could have happened to me, because on top of smelling his tuna fish breath, I have to hear a bunch about YouTubers I don't even care about. Oh, oh god, here he comes. No! It's your boy! Wavy Web Surf here. What's up, guys? So at this point in 2017, if you're not familiar with Game Theory and Matt Pat's work that he's put in throughout the years on his Game Theory channel, you're living under a massive Patrick Star sized rock. Game Theory has really been on my radar personally since about 2013 to 2014. And at this time, Game Theory was really cashing in on this phenomena of like Super Mario nostalgia, Legend of Zelda nostalgia, retro gaming nostalgia, right? Matt Pat and Game Theory's bread and butter originally was making theories about these Nintendo classics and some of the PlayStation original classics. But once 2015 came around and we had the release of Five Nights at Freddy's, Matt Pat's channel took a turn and some may say for the worst. Now before I go ahead and co-sign everyone else's opinion that Matt Pat's channel has gone to shit, I want to do a lot and a lot of explaining. So here's the situation. Recently there's been a massive wave of YouTubers who have pretty much turned their back on MatPat and have started to make videos criticizing him because of his extensive coverage of Five Nights at Freddy's and Undertale. I'm not saying you can't make a critical video towards game theory, but I'm definitely gonna say that you guys are coming with a pretty played out main point. And this main point I keep seeing in all these MatPat exposed slash criticism videos is that he sold out and he's following the money, he's following the algorithm that Undertale and Five Nights at Freddy's cater to children so he can make these videos and they won't get demonetized and he also has a massive fan base of children that are going to come watch his videos. Game Theory's channel did exponentially explode after he started making Five Nights at Freddy videos, but I think people are getting this success confused with some sort of malevolent deviation from the original purpose of his channel. A minute ago I mentioned that Matt Pat earlier started off on making Mario and Link theory videos where he would just kind of like pick one little small point about an old game and just make this really confounded like crazy theory about it. And they were really entertaining videos. It was just fun to kind of think the what ifs in your favorite video games. What if Mario is a serial killer? I don't know Matt Pat, fucking tell me. <laughs> but this is the thing. Back then, there was a massive wave of video game nostalgia, specifically like Nintendo 64 and PlayStation original nostalgia. And this was popular not only with MatPat's channel, but with a lot of other channels on YouTube. And that need for these Mario nostalgic type videos to where you just kind of circle jerk about your childhood franchises, it's kind of died out. It's really been overplayed and there's been so many channels that have done it. So following with that trend, MatPat is going to be less inclined to make game theory videos about a dying trend on YouTube. Many people say MatPat sold out by not making videos about the classics like he used to, like the Mario and the Link videos. And now he's making videos about Five Nights at Freddy's and Undertale. But when you think about it, he's following these YouTube crazes. He followed the video game nostalgia craze, and now he's following the Five Nights at Freddy mystery craze and the Undertale craze. Five Nights at Freddy's and Undertale are games that both have like ridiculously deep lore, and it has a lot of playroom for you to kind of come up with your own theories. And this is why like Matt Pat feels so at home by just making Five Nights at Freddy videos every fucking upload. So it's like, if you're gonna be hating on him now for following a new trend, you might as well have been hating on him back in 2013 and 2014 when he was following that classic nostalgia trend. The concept of MatPat following gaming trends is really nothing new. Another thing that I see in a lot of MatPat criticism videos is they always like to throw around this made up analytic that they somehow have that the only people who watch the Five Nights at Freddy videos and the Undertale videos are like 10 year old children. I mean, are you bad, Pat? <laughs> Do you have his fucking login name and password? Can you check that? Are you just making assumptions? I'll go ahead and tell you, I've probably watched like 60% of Matt Pat's Undertale and Five Nights at Freddy's video 
and I've never even played either of those games. I just feel like MatPat is so good at like explaining things and like making interesting narratives. Like I just watch it because MatPat's an interesting dude and he's really good at delivering stuff. So you don't you don't have his login info, dude. Like quit making assumptions. You don't know the analytics. Okay? So I mean MatPat doesn't deserve hate strictly because he's making like the same videos about the same games. I mean, he's just following a trend. It's what he's always done. If you have a problem with that, then you shouldn't have liked him a few years ago when he was following a different trend. You can't just pick and choose when to hate MatPat. You either gotta like him all the time or fucking hate him all the time. I'm just kidding. That's like dumb logic, but you know what I mean. Now, there is one thing that I guess you could dislike Matt Pat for is the way that he handles criticism. Matt Pat made a live stream where he's pretty much just like reacting to a uh, one of them is a gamer from Mars video. I think he reacts to another one, but he's just like whining the whole time. And it's not a good look, Matt Pat. Like you're bigger than this. Like you're literally like a YouTube legend and no one can ever take that from you. So I hope you know that. Also, MatPat popped into like one of his recent Undertale videos and gave this four minute lecture regarding the hate in his comment section and his critics. And it was really just this like cringy dissertation on like the YouTube analytics and how he has to follow the analytics and like, you're, my fans are dumb because they don't know the analytics. That's pretty much what you sounded like, MatPat. I think you should just let the hate like blow over, dude. Like, it really is not gonna heart harm you that bad. So just like, just don't tweet about it, just don't make any more videos about it, and you'll be fine, trust me, dude. So in conclusion of this hate theory, does MatPat really deserve the hate? Does Game Theory really deserve the hate? Game Theory only deserves the hate if you're against a YouTube channel following trends. And if you're against that, then you should hate Game Theory. But other than that, you really shouldn't have a big problem. Anyways, guys, that's it. Thank you for watching. Wavy Web Surf out. I'll see you on the next video. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at the Wavy Web Surf, and if you want to have a chance to get comment of the day, make sure you leave a comment below. And follow me on Discord. See you in the chat. And if you want to be super homie, donate to me on Patreon. Peace.